What's up guys, back here, another troop spotlight. This is the last troop that you're going to get at level 4, Town Hall. It's the Glob. This is one of my favorite troops actually, so it's very misleading on this tooltip. So it has 74 HP. The damage per hit is 0, which is very misleading because we'll show you in a second. Recruit cost is 15, so very cheap. Recruit time, 10 seconds. And favorite target nearest, housing space is 1. It's a troop speed of slow, attack speed of fast, but this damage per hit of zero makes no sense whatsoever on the tooltip. So in order to get an understanding of what he kind of does, you have to see him in action, or you kind of read this little blurb down the bottom. This cube of mysterious jelly creates a ring of poison all around it, slowly damaging everything nearby. It's a very cool troop. It has a special effect of AoE poison. Let's jump into a battle and show you this troop in action. This is my favorite troop uh, in the game currently. It's not necessarily the greatest troop or the best troop, but it is a very fun troop. You can also use this kind of as a meat shield. It is a very hard counter to the sentry units. So there's a sentry base right here. It's a perfect prime example, actually, of what this troop can do. So we're going to go ahead and drop the globs down here. And you're going to see just a couple globs will go ahead and just <clears throat> disintegrate these sentries. Uh, maybe more than a couple. Go globs! They also kind of shred through uh, walls pretty well. And you can see, very deceiving, they don't do zero damage per second. They do some damage. They are weak to mortars, and that mortar is going to kill up a whole bunch of the globs. So like I said, they're not the strongest unit in the game. They're not a, a, a unit where you're going to go and drop you know, 30 globs down like we did here in this video to showcase them. It's not going to be very effective. But they are just a lot of fun. They're very comparable to the Axemen. So the Axemen serve as like a meat shield with a little bit of damage. They have 49 HP. The glove has a little bit more than that with 70 some odd HP. And the X-Men actually hit for 14 damage per hit. But they only hit one target. The glove will hit everything around it. So it's kind of cool. You can use them as a meat shield. You can use them as a sentry-like destroyer. So realistically, though, what you want to do with the glove is you want to use them as a diversion. Kind of like the meat shield. You also want to help take out the sentries. So archers are their friend. Ranged troops that can sit behind the glove. So in this base, for example, what we'd probably want to do is we'd probably want to snipe off the buildings up here. And check the corners because it looks like they put some buildings in different spots. Oops, and we accidentally activated the sentry, which wasn't good. So now we're going to drop a couple gloves down. And then we're going to drop a couple more globs down up in the top here. We're going to go and freeze that. Drop the archers down. So hopefully our free spell can come back up and we can use it on the mortar over here. Drop our one little goblin there. Yeah, so the free spell is ready to, ready to go, but we haven't got in there yet. Ah. Little too late. Mortar just wrecked all of the archers. 
But overall, we have completed the base here. 59% destroyed. And now time to just retreat to keep our few troops alive that we have. So that's kind of how you use the gloves in an actual battle. So the glove was a newly released unit about a week ago in the game. So we don't have a high level version of it yet. But here's a level 3 version so you can compare the stats. 98 HP. Uh, it goes up to 1 damage per hit now. So uh, yay, it shows something on the tooltip. Uh, Recruit Cross is at 35, so very cheap still, and all the other stuff stays the same. Let's show you how these guys work off against high-level bases. So once again, we brought a whole bunch of gloves. We have 77 gloves here, because again, they're just a lot of fun. So where's the sentry? So really, like I said, these are counters to the sentry troops. So the sentry is right there, and there's another sentry in the bottom right. There's no mortar down here in the bottom right, so we can drop a bunch of gloves down here in the bottom right to deal with these sentries. First, what we're going to do is we're going to snipe off some buildings. Oh, sentries came out, so here comes the glove. The glove army! And you see it just shreds those sentries. And you drop a heal spell just to keep those guys alive. Drop some of these down here. Because you do want to snipe off the buildings that you can hit with the archers. We need some, some gloves up here. Oh, they all move this way. Oh, let's freeze the mortar. Freeze the mortar. Let's try and distract the mortar with a couple axemen. Drop a heal spell. And nope, heal spell didn't work in time. We did clear 54% of the base though, sniping off all the buildings on the outside structure. So not terrible. We can go ahead and retreat out of here. We're not going to try and kill the whole base. So a decent amount of loot there. 11,000. It only cost us 58 gloves and 14 archers and 4 axemen. Gained some trophies as well. So gloves, like I said, are kind of like a mini meat shield. They do work really well against sentry troops, and sentries are very, very annoying. Anyway, guys, let me know. Do you like the glove? Are they cool? Are you using them? What strategies do you have for the gloves? I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.